This is an example of a empirical formula questions. This was on November. So the way that you will approach this question, first you will highlight some keywords. All right. So sort of a minor keyword here. So the way you would sort out or approach any of the empirical formula would be to get yourself organized by the not the type of element. So we here we have three different elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I like to put them in a table like this so it's nice and organized and easy to see. Now in a normal empirical formula, you will get percentage of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, in which case you can write them in here, right? However, in this experiment, they didn't specifically give you the percentage of that. So you have to kind of figure out, well, how many mole will there be? They did say that you have 8.802 gram of CO2. Now the experiment was burning something. So whatever CXHYOZ compound was burned plus oxygen to become CO2 and water. So all of the carbon in the CO2 originally coming from the carbon inside the compound. This is a helpful information because it means that the mole of CO2 is equal to the mole of carbon that you have, right? So now we just have to figure out how many mole of CO2 do we have? Well, CO2 is carbon 12.01. We can look this up on the periodic table. Two oxygen, 16 times two gram per mole. Putting it in the calculator, we got 0 0.2 mole of CO2. And we know that the mole of CO2 is equal the mole of C of carbon because all the carbons from CO2 come from the carbon inside the compound. So we could write here that the mole of C is 0 0.2 mole. Likewise, all the mole from H2O come from the H in the compound. So I can calculate the mole of water here. The question give me 3.602 gram of water and water is 18.02 gram per mole. So converting gram to mole, I've got also 0 0.2 gram of water, H2O. Now here's a tricky bit. See, water is H2O. So there's two water, 2H is required for every mole of water. So 0 0.2 mole of, of, of water is really 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 mole of hydrogen, right? Because water is H2O. So for every mole of water, you will have 2 mole of hydrogen. So 0 0.2 mole of water would be equal 0 0.4 mole of hydrogen. So it, it's not like with carbon with 1 to 1. Okay, last but not least, we consider the oxygen. Now the oxygen is tricky because there's oxygen in CO2 and there's oxygen in water. And not all the oxygen came from the compound, no. There's oxygen uh, that was excess over here too. So how do we figure out the mole of oxygen? Well, we have to go a little bit round and about. This whole CHO compound, right, is that many grams. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, together, we are totaling 4.406 gram. Okay, so the total mass in gram of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen was 4.406 gram. Okay, I'm purposely leaving an empty column here because I'm going to have to put the molar mass, which is gram per mole here. So the total mass is this much. So we need to find the mass in gram of carbon, mass in gram of hydrogen, then subtract that out of the total, then we will get oxygen, right? So molar mass of carbon is 12.01 gram per mole. So mass of carbon, when we put in the calculator, it's mole multiplied by molar mass. That'd be 2.402 gram for hydrogen is 0 0.404 gram. So 
So we got 1.6 gram. I'm going to organize it in this table. We can check and we can say, okay, 2.4, 04 plus 0 0.4, 04 plus 1.6. We would get 4.4 gram, right? Now we're going to go backward this way in order to get the more of oxygen. Because remember, eventually to get the smallest ratio of the elements, we're going to have to find the mole of each of these elements. Molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram per mole. You take the mass divided molar mass, we get the number of mole, which is 0 0.1 mole. All right. So next step, as with all of the empirical formula sort of questions, you will divide the number of mole by the smallest available mole. I'm going to re redraw this table because it's getting a little bit too crowded. So I have well, oxygen is the smallest number of moles. So I'm going to divide everything by the smallest number of mole, 0 0.1. Divide everything by 0 0.1. So that's give me for carbon is 2, hydrogen 4, oxygen 1. Well, sometimes you have questions that it doesn't come out to be this nice and neat whole number, in which case you have to think about fraction. So a little side notes here. One half is 0 0.5. So if you have something that the decimal end up with 0 0.5, you will multiply all the number with 2 in order to get whole number. If you get something that is like 0 0.33, you will multiply with 3 because that's one third. And if you get something that is 0.25, close to 0.25, you will multiply by four. Okay, that's just the way fraction works. If you had an old number like this, then hooray, we're done here. So carbon, we have two, hydrogen, four, and oxygen, one. This is your final answer.